and popcorn right in front of me, which I absolutely love. So we're going to be talking about all things New Hampshire made today here that you can find at Zeb's, which is so exciting. I love finding things local products. So go ahead and talk to us about some of these local products. Do you want to start with maybe this area over, over here? here? In the food section, of course. Um, these are just a few of our New Hampshire made products. And I, just, I brought a plethora. Uh, see here the fruit slices. You know how everybody loves fruit slices. Yeah, we absolutely. sell them in bulk, but also if you need to um, have them, let me grab that for you. There you go. If you'd like to for the car, and they're they're wrapped inside oh, individually, perfect. so the kids don't have sticky fingers everywhere. Mm -hmm. And we have these are made by Hutchinson's Candy down in Hampton. Nice. Hutchinson's also does our private label kettle corn for us. Oh, great! Okay, so um, and they come in sugar-free. If you have uh, somebody with a problem, these are the sugar-free, and and they come high test with all the sugar. All the sugar too. Yes. yes. So whatever you want, well, sugar or sugar-free, right. definitely. If you're into sugary things <laughs> and you bake, this here is. Madagascar vanilla bourbon extract. Oh, nice. Um, Prio vanilla from Madagascar vanilla beans. It's made by uh, Mary McDonald down in Mason, New Hampshire. She, she has great, we sell tubes of the vanilla beans. We have our extracts. We have um, vanilla syrups, vanilla sugar, just wonderful. And Mason, New Hampshire is the home of Piketty Place, the restaurant on which Little Red Riding Hood was oh, cool. based. Oh, cool. I love even putting a couple drops of that in my coffee. Yeah. So and, of tasty. course, New Hampshire made locally in Glen, beautiful downtown Glen, the Red Parker Pub barbecue sauce. Nice. You, you know, it just doesn't work. Can't beat it. Summer doesn't work. <laughs> and from beautiful downtown North Conway, Vito Marcello's basil, tomato basil marinara and his Italian dressing, which is great not for just salad dressing, but marinating chicken on the grill. Oh, yeah, I bet. I brought some of our Zeb's label Maple syrup. syrup. We're going to leave this bottle for a watch and win question, folks. So, you know. Going to want to be paying attention, guys. Right. <laughs> so, this is made by Fuller Sugar House in Lancaster. And they private label it for us. We also carry their label. Oh, nice. And it comes from little, small sizes up to gallons. I love that. Okay. Pickles and Things. Chris, it's a very long name. I can't pronounce her name. She, she is here in Center Conway. She does salsas and preserves. I mean, her GMs are spectacular. Oh, I've actually had some of that. It's yeah. so amazing. It's yeah. so good. This is, a, this is her summer strawberry. Mango tango, you can't beat. If you ever use her pineapple salsa and you want to make a splash, do an oval shape of cream cheese, put the pineapple salsa on it, and then put little... Um, uh, the little square wheat thins and, and oh patterns it. It looks and then some scallions at the top. The greens looks like a pineapple. It's Perfect. a great party platter. I love that. White Mountain Canning Company. Some mulling spices. These are nifty. And uh, I forget where exactly these from. Now, what would you use those like for? Mulling cider. Oh yeah. Okay. In the in the winter time, you make glug. Good old Scandinavian glug. Nice. That's something I've never done. Right. Maybe I should try it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, um, New Hampshire Kettle Con. I'm going to hold this up because it was in the back. This is a locally made, and this is a small bag. She has the large bags, and you'll often see her at the community center. Um, uh, what are the, you know, those festivals that they have? Yeah, like the craft fairs yes. and whatnot. Yep. Granite steak chocolates. They do nonpareils, butter, uh, butter crunch, malted milk, this candy bars, and they're out of a man this looks Concord, so New good. Hampshire. Oh my gosh. And you know, they're, they're great. They're just. You know. And beautifully packaged. Right. Looks like that's a great thing for a gift right. as well. Now we have this print for Dana Clemens. He, he's a local fellow, and this is Bartlett in the Fog. His his pictures, oh my goodness, he, his close-ups of gorgeous. bears and moose, and fantastic. We just can't keep them in stock. And they're reasonably priced. They're all under $30, and that's they're great. a lovely takeaway. Really great for someone maybe who doesn't live in the area even That's too, right. as well as people who live here who want right. to capture the beauty. Now these bells, all of these bells, do you notice the so etching cute. on them? Yeah. These are made, the bells are actually forged, etched, molded, and all of that in Lempster, New Hampshire. Wow. These are New England bells. And That's really yeah. cool. This is a door, so unique. a door hanger, so you hear somebody coming in and out. I, uh, we have sleigh bells. 
I don't know if you're going to pan to the table or what you want would like me to do. This is a single bell, and we sell them as bear bells. And often we get the call from the North Pole, you know, for the oh, Polar Express fun. bells. Sometimes they they just don't have the time to keep making them, and they subcontract out to. I love that. So New England you know, bells. Sometimes Santa needs yeah. some new bells. And you use it on your backpack as a bear bell, so you don't frighten the people who really live in the woods. Nice. Now over here in the front corner. We have some soaps from Cardigan Mountain Soap. Lily makes fabulous, um, beautiful lilacs, wisteria, all New Hampshire scents, and does wraps them lovely. Oh, that's really cool too. And she has the Bugs Away lotion, which really works. All right, we want to hold one of those. Oh, up we do. To okay. See. So I'm going to bring that over so you can hold all right. it. And she's got them all wrapped lovely. I love how it's labeled and it has yeah. like the the beautiful picture of New Hampshire. Yeah, and it there has the all the ingredients in the back, and it's nothing that you wouldn't want to put on your body or even a baby. Yeah, that's you know, great. And she has all different scents, and just take a whiff of that. Isn't that nifty? I like how you said New Hampshire scents too. How how yeah. cool is that that she kind of stuck with? And she does lilacs, things from around summer the Summer in New England, winter in New England, cold stream. They're fabulous. And, yeah. And, as I said, they're very, and they're handmade. So she's very busy. Then we have Jeunesse Farms uh, goat milk. So they're out of Concord also. The very hard working young couple. And um, I actually, think I've actually him. seen this before as well. Yeah. This stuff is really nice. And his, it's a sample bag, and it, it actually lists right which they are, you know, right down the top ones. That's the spice, really cool. You know, so you know what you're using. You can try out all eight different kinds and see which one you like the best. Yeah, and bring it home. They also have, for hardworking people like the ladies and gentlemen at Zeb's, they do a peppermint foot scrub and another spa foot soak. And after these summer days of being open from nine in the morning till ten at night, we often need definitely a foot need it. Scrub I know. And a foot soak. Definitely, you know? I'm sure there's a lot of people in town working really hard, especially yep. during the season, well, and all seasons as yeah. well. Um, that so would that's be just able to use that. a few of the things that I could throw into my magic basket this morning. Yeah, I love and that they're all from New Hampshire. I love that yeah. you knew where they were all from and that you were able to share that, and that's really amazing. So we definitely need to support all of these wonderful businesses, um, including Zeb's, these locally made products. So it's really exciting yeah. to be able to support that. A lot of them are called cottage industries, you mm -hmm. know, the soap makers and, that, and these, these bells. Right. If you've ever seen, like, the Budweiser, sleigh bells, the Clydesdale, we sell those. Oh, my gosh. We sell the bells that are that size to go around. That's amazing. They're, they're dear, but they're an investment, and they're an heirloom. They're something wow. we believe, and we sell a lot of them. Um, Very cool. This is, it's just that's my favorite thing in the store. Yeah, I love bells. it. It's absolutely beautiful. So the thank bells. you so much for bringing them and well, sharing all of this wonderful you. stuff with us. We want to move right into a watch and win question with Paula. We're going to be giving away um, some of the Zeb's label maple syrup. And what we're going to be asking, we're not going to do a multiple choice for this question because we think you guys can figure it out, okay? Um, so it there's a large Coca-Cola globe lamp in Zeb's General Store, and um, it is absolutely gorgeous. We want you to be thinking about who could have possibly made this beautiful, intricate Coca-Cola globe lamp. If you think you know the answer, who made this lamp, go ahead and call in right now, and we're going to be taking an answer to be giving away the Zeb's label maple syrup. So and go ahead and call is, in right it's now. It's an antique. It is an, an antique. An, That's an a antique. very important thing to say, Paula. It's, it's <laughs> at our antique marble soda bar uh, with the dispensers and all of that. But that lamp was made by a very famous lamp maker. And it was when way back in the day, because Coca-Cola came from way back in the day. So it's from a long time ago. She gave you guys some clues. Very famous, another clue. Very intricate. I'll even say worth a lot. Okay, so let's go ahead and throw, can we throw the phone number up on the screen if possible so that people can call in and answer our watch and win question for the maple syrup. It's 356-6619, 356-6619. So again, go ahead and call in to win the maple syrup if you think you know 
who would have made a very famous lamp maker who would have made the Coca-Cola lamp? We'll go ahead and take a call during our break. I want to thank Paula so You're much welcome. for being it's good here. To see her. And I just absolutely loved this one. I love all of the New Hampshire products. Thanks for sharing those with us. So go check them out at Zebs. Does Zebs have a website as we Zebs.com, Zebs without the apostrophe, www.zebs. Com. Very simple. I love it. You can find it very easily. Thank you so much for being here again, Paula. And we'll see you guys in just a few moments.